Hello friends, let's continue with the discussion about continuous uh, random variable. Okay, so in the case of the discrete random variable, what we saw was that in our example of flipping two coins, the probability of zero plus uh, getting zero heads plus probability of getting one head plus probability of getting two heads, the sum total should be is equal to one. Okay, now similarly in our continuous random variable, if we plot a probability density function like this. In case of uh, the discrete, we knew that we had discrete values like this 0, 1, 2 and so on, right. But if we take the case of uh, a, a, the, you know, the height of people in a city, you know, and if we represent them like this, what would happen is uh, it would be something like this, say for example. What I am representing in the x axis is the height. So, what is the probability of getting a height of uh, 50.1 centimeter, 50.2 centimeter, and so on, and then 181.239 at centimeter, etc. Right? All right. Now, this would be the uh, probability of uh, you know the continuous uh, random variable. Now, there is one problem in this thinking. Okay, and what is that problem is, we know because of the precision, the length of a but say a baby could be as small as 50.139 and then there will be so many zeros, a series of zeros, infinite zero and then say 0, 1 and it can continue till infinity, right. Now that is the precision whenever we are calculating something. So what is the probability of getting this value? that means it is about equal to be 0, right, because we cannot get that precise value. Now, again, what is the probability of getting 50.29683 and so on, again the probability of this value is going to be 0, because I cannot get a person with that precise value. So, eventually what will happen is, if I try to take the individual value of the height of a person, what will happen is my distribution here in the x axis I have the height, right, I have the height of people and probability in for all these values will be 0, it will be 0 in all cases, okay, because of the precision issue. I will not be able to get exactly that same amount of height or that same calculation for the height and that is why all my uh, probability to get that height will be 0. So, in such cases uh, what we will rather do is you know we will try to uh, take some range ok. So, what do I mean by that is so instead of looking for 50.1396 and so on till 0, 0, 0, infinity number of zeros, right, centimeter. Instead of looking into some values like this, uh, you know, because that is what we did in our discrete random, we took very equal amounts. So, we said 0, we said 1 head, we said 2 head and so on. So, instead of looking into that way, we will just change our idea a little bit and we will say that, you know, uh, instead of this say we have something like this and say my height is say 50.1 and whatever the precision is and here say it is 52 point whatever it says 0, 0, 0, 0 and so on and 50 point something. That means what I am doing is I am taking some variable x and then I am just taking a small range. So, then I can be pretty sure that what is the probability of getting somebody's height within that range and that is nothing but this area graph here and we know that this area probability of this entire area should again be equal to 1 in relation to what we saw in our con uh, discrete random variable, right. So, instead of looking at uh, just a particular value in case of continuous random variable we are going to take a small range. And in this case say it is a very small amount say it will be say point in the case of height we can say we can take 0, 0, 001 centimeter. So, uh, somebody with 50 uh, centimeter to 50.001 centimeter. So, that is a small range and we want to predict 
uh, the probability of somebody's height within that range. So instead of going for a particular value, we are going for a small range. 